de ba ye kene ni mono no bose nketa ai si na ya de ndi bona ma ta di ko si de um ya bo ibo media ka isi wene o tero ni ya bo nu ko zi di o kempa eh basta ma ka ni ibo and ibo community and ye de bena nigeria ya bi fika ina o tero na ibo media eh di ko isi we de so la yo bona nka bo o bose zigi ina bi na ni lo akwo na ibo media eka baro ka e subscribe bo and turn on your notification ke la pe miss any of our update di ka ni ti pe ni ba popo wa mbe kwa mbe e di ko si de o wuri ya wete do no bo sin keta bo stamaka ka ya bi face ada and bo stamaka ka ya bi face abato na ni igbo e bi ko ma cho ki ge ya bi fe ya bo bi from prime minister ma zi samon e pa o wo di foku ni ro kwọ ma choko nge onu ge se bi fe ona drop ora ifu nche ni ro awọ ba samaki yenda ni no wu alright over to you sir so guys simon e pa come out to blast neto abari be on the statement he made about biafra and told him that he should be cautioned because he's misleading biafra and then he said that biafra will never i can never be distracted that biafra must come that was his statement on this video let me like you guys watch this video and don't forget to always air your views but i think yes manepa is stupid for biafra and also he told the biafra people that they should not be distracted and play their focus on getting the biafra because right now they're not talking about regional government which someone said that is a distraction to the biafra lands that they should be more focused on the aim and the goal which is to get biafra I love you guys to this video. I'll see you on the and I love to know what to think about the video in the comment section. Don't forget to always air your views there. Today, I am standing on the way for them not to eliminate you, dear friends, and annihilate you. And this man is running mad. I want you to listen to the effort he has made against Biafra. So I support this uh, motion, and especially the matter concerning someone who is a dual citizen of Nigeria and Finland, staying in Finland, giving orders, and in fact, giving, I will say, orders that you don't understand why people should accept it here. But then, criminals will always find a reason to do what they want to do. I have also had interaction with the Finnish uh, 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 embassy, and in fact, the United Nations uh, uh, head in Nigeria, who is from Finland, and what she told me was, it is a government-to-government -government interaction that will lead to a resolution of this, because uh, as a citizen of Finland, that he has a right to express his uh, opinion. But I can tell you, my dear colleagues, each and every one of us has suffered greatly from what is happening in the Southeast. They attacked Senator Carl when he was doing campaign, they attacked me. There's nobody, they have not tried to intimidate. But we cannot be intimidated because we are in a country that has room of law. And so I support yes i stop it here uh let me start from the last word that they are in a country that have rule of law and this is a man who is from abia state where mazina and Dikano come from and he is standing there supposedly representing mazina and Dikano. let us assume and mazina and Dikano, many courts in nigeria has freed him and he is still being incarcerated today this man stood at the national assembly to say they are in a country that have rule of law this is a man who also stood a shorty as a shorty in 2017 for mazin namdekan do you know what have changed what have changed was that nothing actually have changed the shorty was for them to bring Mazen Namdekano and eliminate him. Who is the main target is you and I. 
not Mazenamdi Kano. Mazenamdi Kano was standing on the way. Today, I am standing on the way for them not to eliminate you, dear friends, and annihilate you. And this man is running mad. I want you to listen to the effort he has made against Biafra, against freedom, and everything failed. He has contacted the United Nations head in Nigeria, who is from Finland. He has contacted the embassy of Finland in Nigeria. He has done this. He has done that. All this thing he was doing is not for the interest of Biafra people. But who was he representing doing it? Shambolically representing people from the Southeast. And what this man don't know is that he no longer have the legitimacy to speak for the people from Abia State, where he come from. They have left him. He went for that to say he don't know why people will accept the order that the Biafra government are giving from Finland. The same person is telling them that nobody accept that order. Yet he went for that to say he doesn't know why people can obey such order. Because they know the order we are giving is targeted at delegitimizing them, making sure that every legitimacy that was given to them is taken away from them, and we have done it. This same man who is speaking like this is now part of those who claim they want to do regional government. The same regional government is what targeted at what you. It is all to delay this liberation of Biafra and eliminate you. Or they have no interest of Biafra people. We have proven that the loyalty of Biafra is to the Biafra government, not to them. So for the fact that there is a vote of no confidence, these are a bunch of idiots who has been parading themselves as representative in Abuja. They could not stop the seat at home that the Biafra people have taken up by themselves. They couldn't stop it. They have done everything to stop the seat at home. They could not stop Biafra from sitting at home. And they refused to understand that that alone is a boast of no confidence by the Biafra people to them. They continue to live in this, in this, uh, you know, uh, you know, in, in, uh, in denial and lies that people are scared. People are scared, which means you are not able to protect the people you claim to be governing. So you have lost legitimacy. You can't protect them. You are no longer supposed to be speaking even in public because you can't protect these people and the Biafra government are protecting them. So you have lost every legitimacy to even negotiate and discuss any regional government. Any negotiation that the Biafra Republic government in exile and entire Biafrans are not part of is dead on arrival. And what we are looking for is complete freedom of Biafra people. And I want you to know one thing. The time is over. Time has gone. When you will stay in Abuja and make decisions and they impose it on the Biafra people. It's not going to work again. At the end of the day, creating of a state or non-creating of a state will never stop the agitation of Biafra. Because let us be realistic with ourselves. People are tired of living together. You can't be living together when the room, the room is hot. The room that we are living together is hot. It's hot on my body. I can't stay anymore. Please let us go. And we must go. See, that is a fantastic situation. Are you against creation of new states? See, I'm not against creation of a new state. But what I'm trying to let you know that if you like, you can create 10 more states in the East, people land. Agitation will never stop because the wound has been there. That wound never healed. So if you want to heal wound, don't be saying with a question. Let the Allah along with it. Let it be everybody be equal right. See. Give the repose, recognize the Eastern, recognize them as you recognize labor in Abuja. They are the world, they are where the oil came from, the resources that Nigeria depend on, the from that soil. Why you neglect them? You neglect them. You say you want to create a state? A state is not the solution. Uh, if you bring development according to some. How do you, okay, the state to there, there. How, how, how did they develop it? Any federal present reality there? See, let's not be frank with our saying. All reality, Lagos, Lagos, how many airport in Lagos? Okay, the other day now, they see who are established, they say Zo, Zo 2, Abila, Zo something, another ship will come. Why not east? Lucky free trade zone. Eh? Why not that side? Are they afraid? Why are they afraid of? If they are afraid, let everybody announcement go home because we are tired to stay in the same roof and it's leaky and it's hot. Goodbye, Dalulin, Nenukunusi.
wene sore na ibo media eh de kunisina sela asna tuko ka bia mapolo mi ne ya gozo ni no funu fu a try ku rocha ko ya dedede isa 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 e ka pa kwa lo eh kiti ya lo nke gina ye ni ni no basta maka ye eh bia from prime minister ku gasi ni ru akwa ana ndo zo di siche ka ba ro kiti ye alo nke gi feature no di nke gi basta maka ya bi fe Um, di kai no kwane chekwa udinanya na mazin na lekano ya pata ogenade anya na no no mpolo as na chukwa kabyo magenye yike no yele ya chukwa baya wana ya kudo chukwa kwa ya diridi isa 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 thank you and also stay tuned at eastern news 24 kemesia nondibaya